Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers hope you are doing good today's lecture will be available for class 12th and the topic on which i will deliver a lecture is demand and it is determinant is what is demand demand it is a desire demand is a desire for a good or service backed by or we can say supported by ability to pay which is also known as purchase power of a consumer demand it is a desire for a good or service backed by ability to pay also known as purchase power of a consumer the purchase power it includes income of a consumer or wealth of a consumer which can be converted into money which can be converted into liquid form that is cash and that can be used to purchase goods and services to get demand fulfilled ability to pay or purchase power is going to get the ka taqat if there is if there is no ability to pay if there is no sufficient income or wealth then the demand for a good or service it is merely a wish उसको हम कहते हैं विश जब हमारे पास खरीदने का ताकत नहीं होगा एंड अनदर टर्म दैट इज यूज इन डिमांड दैट इज पोटेंशियल डिमांड व्हाट इज पोटेंशियल डिमांड व्हेन अ कंज्यूमर हैज अ सफिशिएंट इनकम व्हेन अ कंज्यूमर इज बैकड बाय एबिलिटी टू पे but he is not willing to pay he is not willing to purchase a good that is known as potential demand jab consumer ke paas income bhi ho lekin wo khareedna nahi chahta hai that is known as potential demand it is the demand which is backed by purchasing power such as income or having a wealth but not willingness to pay willingness to pay that is known as potential demand means a consumer has a potential to fulfill his demand but he is not willing to pay for that good or service maybe due to some reasons then there is a real demand or we can say effect to demand it is a demand that actually get us full feathered that is when a person has a demand for good and service and he has ability to pay and he is also willing to pay for that good or service and that is the real demand or effect to demand mean is jab consumer ko khareedne ka taqat bhi hai aur wo khareedta bhi hai then that is a real demand or effect to demand now what are the determinants of demand determinants of demand or we can say factors of factors that affect us or that influences demand jinka asar demand pe hota hai it includes 
number one price of a commodity or price of a good or service demand which is a dependent variable demand of a particular good and price is independent variable demand for a good depends upon the price of a good if the price of good is so high and the income of the consumer is so low that the consumer cannot fulfill his demand second one is price of related goods related goods it includes substitute goods and complementary goods first we will discuss price of or related price of substitute good these are the goods which can be substituted for one another such as tea and coffee because their utility is almost same to a consumer therefore the price of these substitute goods affects their demand suppose the price of tea it is 10 rupees per cup and price of coffee suppose it is also equal to 10 rupees per cup now depending upon the taste of a consumer he would choose between tea and coffee because their utility their satisfying power is almost same to a consumer and now it is demand will depend upon the price of a good and its taste to a consumer suppose consumer will prefer tea as compared to coffee when their prices are same now next time suppose the price of this tea per cup have increased to 15 rupees now it is price have increased to 15 rupees per cup and the price of this coffee it remains same that is 10 rupees per cup now being a rational consumer he tries to maximize his utility from his given income he will now demand coffee as compared to tea because price of tea have increased and the price of coffee have remained same and these are substitute goods their utility is almost same therefore consumer will prefer coffee therefore demand of a tea has been affected by the price of it is substitute good that is coffee and there are so many substitute goods available to us and next one is complementary goods which is included in price of related goods complementary goods complementary goods are those goods which complements the use of one another or we can say those goods which complete is the use of 
other goods. These goods are interdependent upon each other in terms of their use, such as marker and ink. These are complementary goods. The use of marker is incomplete without the use of ink. Similarly, car and petrol or we can say diesel the use of car depends upon the availability of petrol or diesel and its price level means their price level affects the demand for a car sito and Kerosene. The use of sito demand for kerosene depends upon the price of kerosene and its availability. Means the price of these complementary goods also affects the demand for a particular good. Means demand here, demand of a market depends upon the price of it. Demand of a car depends upon the price of petrol, which is its complementary good, and demand of a sito depends upon the price of kerosene, which complements the use of the sito. Now, the third determinant of this demand is taste and preferences. taste and preferences these taste taste for a good or service varies from person to person for example some persons have a taste have a utility for a cigarette others may not have or some consumers have a taste for banana while others may not have taste for that and they have a taste for orange or mango similarly there are numerous various categories of goods and services which depends their demand i mean depends upon the taste and preference of a consumer which is varied in nature and fourth one is income income also affects the level of demand when income increases demand increases when income decreases demand also decreases means change in income leads to change in demand for a particular good or service then population Change in population also affects the level of demand for a particular good or service. For example, if there are 10 family members and they demand 10 units of bread, suppose their family members have increased from 10 to 15, the demand for bread will also increase from 10 to 15, means change in population have affected the level of demand. Or there is decrease in population the demand may also decrease and sixth one is climate and season climate and seasons also play a role important role while affecting the level of demand during hot season during summer season the demand for ice cream is very high at peak level while in case of winter season it is demand falls or it may be almost nil similarly during winter season demand for woolen clothes increases and demand for cotton clothes is low and in summer season demand for cotton clothes is very high and demand for woolen clothes 
is very low or nil these are the determinants these are the factors that affects the level of demand now the last topic today we have that is demand function what is demand function it shows a functional relationship between functional relationship or algebraic expression between quantity demanded and it is determinants which we have discussed and it is determinants now we can show it simply quantity demanded q is a quantity demanded of a particular commodity denoted by x which may be a pen it may be a cell phone book etc any other commodity denoted by q x quantity of a commodity or good x demanded it has a functional relationship with its determinant that is price of a good price of related goods which may be substitutes or complementary goods comma taste and preferences income population climate and seasons and in short what we keep we keep the price of related goods taste income and population as constant and we show the functional relationship between quantity demanded and price of a particular good and we can also rewrite this in this form p x y price of a good x is a good p is a price p or price of related good which may be complementary good or substitute good p r sorry p x price of a good p x p r price of related good which may be substitute good or complementary good y it is an income of a consumer t taste of a consumer p population and c denotes the climates or seasons that affects the quantity demanded of a good say here it is an x good and we keep these other factors other than price of a good as a constant and we show a functional relationship between price of a the quantity demanded of a good and price of a good therefore this demand for a good depends upon its price while other determinants other factors keeping as constant such as price of related good income test population and climate that affects the level of demand these are kept as constant and this demand function is reduced to this form that is quantity of x demanded or x may be any commodity depends upon its price level hope you have understood it thanks